This week on Ask Koshy, is going into business with a friend a marriage made in heaven or hell? Rachel and Claire from Wattle and Rose Elopements have this question. Hey Koshy, I'm Claire and this is Rachel and together we are Wattle and Rose Elopements. So I'm a celebrant and Claire is a photographer and over the COVID period we've worked together heaps and heaps before that but we did notice that we've been really digging the smaller, more elopement style ceremonies and we thought we would turn that into a business together. So we are hoping to make this amazing concept flourish. It's already had a lot of interest, but we're also really good friends. We drink wine together a lot and we want to maintain that. So Koshi, what advice would you give people who are working with their family and friends to take on board to maintain that relationship? Oh gee, it is tough. To help weigh in on this, we're joined by Simon Cohen, co-founder of the largest property buyers agency in Australia, Cohen Handler who has been through this situation himself. Simon, you didn't just go into business with a friend, but also your mum. So as a friend and a relative, what advice would you give Rachel and Claire? Rachel, I think if I had to give you three top tips, number one would be set boundaries. I think it's really important to distinguish between family and business. Two, I think communicate. Communication's very important. And three, make sure your team and your staff know the difference between when it's family time and it's business time, because it's very important for them to, to be able to see the separation. Right. So if disputes do arise, how do you maintain that professionalism and not let friendship get in the way or emotion? Absolutely. Emotion, unfortunately, is something that takes over all of us. But what I find more often than not is if you sit down, you communicate, you talk things through, you understand each other's perspectives, Typically, because you are family or friends, you can get through it 99% of the time. Simon, great advice. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.